All right, it is a really dangerous trend. Opioid use here in the U.S. is at its highest it's ever been, leading many to call it an epidemic right now. For people struggling with addiction, it can be really hard to recover. But there's one place right here in the valley offering some natural alternatives like acupuncture. The cane toad. Ryan That's an is at Blue Door Therapeutics in Scottsdale to explain. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning with the great team here at Blue Door Therapeutics. Yeah, I mean, think about this. We have 5% of the world's population in the United States. We prescribe 80% of the world's opioids, and it has created a, a certain epidemic across the country and here in Phoenix. I want to talk to Dr. Gina, the CEO, CEO over here of Blue Door. You guys do a lot of great work, and one of the modalities we're talking about right now is acupuncture. Yes. Uh, we have uh, some subjects over here who are going to get involved, and you guys go ahead and, and show us how this works. But Gina, tell me why uh, acupuncture works for something like opioid addiction? So the, the NADA point specifically for AccuDetox were discovered in the uh, early 1970s and research from the 1970s to date have shown that if you stimulate, um, three, there's a three to five point system in the air which we can demonstrate. Um, it really helps with withdrawal symptoms and specifically for opioids. Um, and so it's one of those treatment modalities that is pill free, that is uh, relatively painless. It's, uh, I know it's needling, which makes some people nervous, but um, it's really effective. You can see Nikki's doing great here. She's, she's not crying or screaming. It's, <laughs> it's really not as dramatic as it seems. And then these are actual seeds that will stay in the ear that she can continue to press um, as she leaves here. And it helps people um, with withdrawal symptoms and it helps people feel calmer, uh, helps with sleep, et cetera. So really effective for some of the withdrawal symptoms that, again, is pill-free um, that we like to support the use of here at Blue Door. When we talk about some of the side effects of withdrawal, how specifically is, I mean, we're looking at her ear. It mm -hmm. seems kind of crazy that it could treat something as serious as opioid addiction. What kind of withdrawal symptoms are, uh, is, is this helping relieve? Um, some of the anxiety, some yeah. of the pain. Uh, again, uh, NADA points can be helpful for any stressful or chaotic situation that a person is going through, and it's been effective outside of um, chemical dependency, but specifically for chemical dependency, it can be really effective for calming and focusing patients, allowing them to participate yeah. in um, other, other activities in their life so that they're not so... Um, um, focused on what their body is going through. It really seems to modulate what the withdrawal symptoms are. We have a couple of seconds here. I, I want to talk briefly. You and I have been chatting this morning about changing an attitude or perception about treatment. Uh, we've had, lived in a pill for every ill society. We do prescribe a lot of opioids in this country. But the treatment, the question of, of how to treat is changing and still a big question mark. What do you want to see moving forward in, 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 this, uh, in this sphere, in this area? I think that we really established pretty effectively that there's a problem. I want to start talking about solutions. And I think for our patients whose lives are on the line, if we can find any solution that will help them, especially evidence-based solutions such as acupuncture, such as cannabis, such as mindfulness meditation, we want to offer all of those things to our patients see them through both acute and chronic withdrawal, which is a protracted process. And yeah. so we really want to stick with those patients long term. Dr. Gina, thank you so much. In the next hour, guys, we're actually going to talk about cannabis and the way that Dr. Gina and the rest of the folks here at Blue Door Therapeutics are using cannabis to treat people with opioid addictions, severe addictions being helped by marijuana cannabis products. Much more on that coming up in the next hour. Back to you. Thank you very much, Ryan. Interesting.